Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's Forge tutorial. Have you ever wondered how coins can have such detailed designs on such a small scale? Or how smaller replicas of sculptures are made? Well, they use a tool called a panograph. Now what's a panograph? A panograph is a mechanical device that uses mechanical linkages arranged in a particular way to scale an image. And in this video, we'll be making a simple version out of cardboard. So let's get started. The tools you'll need. A ruler. Some tape. A blade. I'm using a hobby knife, but you can use a box cutter or some scissors. Two markers or pencils. Anything that writes without the need of too much pressure. A screwdriver and a wood screw that fits it. Four wood screws or thumbtacks a scrap wood block, and some scrap cardboard that's at least 6 by 13 inches. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is cut down four 1.5 by 13 inch strips from our cardboard. Now I've already cut my piece of cardboard to 13 inches, so now all I need to do is cut them in 1.5 inch strips. The next step is to mark the pivot points we need for our wood screws. Take one 13 inch strip and mark a dot in the center of the strip a half an inch on both sides. Then from those points, mark a point in the middle at six inches. Take another and mark a dot a half inch in on both sides. This time from one dot, measure three inches and place a mark. The last two we'll need to cut them down a little shorter. Measure out to 7 inches and cut on that line. Discard the excess. Now measure and mark a dot 1 half inch in on both sides. This will give us 6 inches between the two dots. For the last strip, cut at 10 inches. Mark a dot at a half inch on both sides and from one dot mark another dot 3 inches in. Now I'm going to take a screw and poke a hole through each dot. Let's align the holes and use the screws to attach them. Now you don't want the screw to screw in all the way, just enough to keep the pieces of cardboard together. We want the cardboard to hover above the table. Now take one of the ends of the pantograph and using the last screw, screw it into our wood block. Now tape the block down to the table. With the two remaining holes, place your markers. You may need to open the holes up a little wider, depending on the diameter of your marker. And now we have our panograph. You can scale up or down with your panograph. You can also move the pivot points on your panograph to get different effects, so play around with it. Well, thanks for watching and following along, and make sure to check back for more tutorials.